Oh, honey, that is so cool. I'm going to go get in line. Oh, no way. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, well, here we are. SEMA day two. And uh, since uh, Mopar and Best Top have this long lasting relationship, what better place to start than in Mopar Alley? Look at the colors when you look down. It's so amazing. And the fact that that pink and that purple, because I know the Plum Crazy was a standard. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the pink was, though. Yes. What's yes. it called? Oh. I, I don't know. Oh, Panther, you can't Panther remember. Panther Pink, maybe? Uh, I, I, I'm sure you could ask one of the Mopar guys, and they would maybe be able to tell you like that. But <laughs> Panther Pink? I think so. <laughs> well, you know, Pink Panther, Panther okay. Pink. Plum Crazy is bad enough, too. <laughs> now, there's something that happened in Vegas that should stay in Vegas. Look, you can stand inside of it. Look. That's so cool. I could totally rock one of these. Yeah, I drove one of these in the military. Of course, it didn't have all the fancy doodads around it. Yep. Oh, that's nice. That is awesome. Oh, and it's got seats in the back. Mm -hmm. So you actually drove one of these? Mm -hmm. Not with all the push bars and crap. Why'd you drive one of these? Every military base you go to, especially Air Force bases, these things are lousy all over the place. They're like better than golf carts. It's either this or those John Deere Gators, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's cool. That is cool. Am I seeing that right? I am. It's... It's a cover. It, but it, it's, it's a cover. But it's all different colors. Mm -hmm. You know when they put exhaust on these, uh, you know, a lot of times you see the chrome exhaust that's, that's turned blue up by the engine? Yeah. Because of the heat? Mm -hmm. Well, they make these nice covers now so that you can you can have them chromed and they won't turn blue. Because it, it's like a, it's almost like a heat sink, but not really. So it's over? It's over the exhaust. Over so the, the exhaust, exhaust can get okay. as blue as it wants to. That's cool. It's neat. It's very purple. It is. Oh my god. Seriously, look out, Jeep. <laughs> now I'll tell you what I could see. I could see you pulling up to the trail. I could see the opening the back of the Jeep up. Craning one of these out onto the, onto the trail and just tearing it up. Oh yeah, look at that that's, thing. Uh, that's just cool. Very few things make me go, oh, oh wow. Yeah, I know. This is one of them. I like it. Oh look, it's got it's got poison spider. Poison spider, yes. Yeah. I like this detail right here. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. I like that. It's, uh, that's, uh... it's got a. It's got an iPad. Does it really? Look. Yes, it does. That is so cool. <laughs> and it's green. It's green. Green. I like that. Was that a sixty up front? Is it? Four. That's that's a, that's a big axle. That's a 44 up front. Yeah, but it's, it's bigger than mine. That's all I care about. I could so run things over with this. Can I have a set of these tires? Yes, you can have anything you want, sweetheart. Oh my Those god, look, uh, that is Mad Max. That, uh, <laughs> oh my god, I, I like the, uh, I like the, uh, this, the brass knuckles are a nice touch. This. Uh, wow. Oh, I didn't even see those. <laughs> <laughs> That's that is awesome. Awesome. You gotta go push the button. <laughs> Oops. That I think we broke is it. So cool though. Okay, next booth, we broke it. <laughs> we broke it. <laughs> okay, well we had a couple of questions about on our website about uh, LED lights. Uh, a lot of people still don't understand that LED lights are as bright, if not brighter, than the, the, uh, the, the con yeah. conventional lights. Yeah, so. The LED light, what, what you don't get from the LED light that the conventional incandescents give you is the yellow glow, the yellow tint. The, uh, the uh, LED light is all as close to the temperature of daylight as we can get you today. So when you're looking out there, and you're behind the wheel from the safety aspect, it just enhances that. Absolutely. So it's a very safe one. Um, and there's there's a lot of ways you can go with LEDs. You can do seven inch floods, you can do seven inch spots, work right. lamps. 
Uh, today, even in our smaller packages, like that square one, it puts out about 3,000 lumens. Wow. It's a small package, but a lot of light. A lot of light. Of and it uses less power than a conventional light. Yeah, if, if, if you look at an LED, if you took a common stop turn tail, uh, you're using 85%, you're drawing 85% less amps. Wow. So, you know, it's got roughly 2.7 to 0.3. Great. 0.3, so, so wow. you know, there's, a, there's a lot of difference out there. Well, hey, Carl, I thank you so much. Thank appreciate you. It. Appreciate Have you. Have a great show. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, we're here in the Max Tracks booth, and uh, as you can see, they've got Best Hops Power Boards installed on their beautiful Toyota suspensions, power boards, candy. You can't ask for anything more. Well, this is actually our local four-wheel club in California. Yes, yes. This is what we, this is one of the, one of the things that, that we have a membership to. Um, and what it is, is a, it's, a, it's a conglomeration of four-wheel drive clubs, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. To get with the government to have, you know, pass legislation to protect the trails to that keep them we, open, yes. we use to keep yep. them open. They also are very involved when there's fire damage. Uh, with the wildfires and whatnot, with trail cleanup. Yes. Um, it's a great organization. Yes. It really is. All right, cool. Another good looking Jeep here at SEMA, and another best top top. What year is it? This, I believe, if you look at it, it's a 46, 47. It's a CJ2A, which was the first civilian variant of the original Willys MB. This windshield has a safari feature where this windshield will actually come out. Oh, now nice. this one actually has, this is the Cadillac of the Willys because it actually has the vacuum powered windshield wiper. Nice. Draws vacuum right off of the engine to work the windshield wiper. Oh nice. Um, standard fare, just almost like the, the, the military variant. The difference, you don't have the cat's eyes. You've got a regular turn indicator. Yeah. And uh, the, the headlights don't turn into the engine compartment like they did on the military version. Um, but aside from that, pound for pound, pretty much the exact same vehicle. Same drivetrain, same transmission, same transfer case, same axles. And here you go. The versatility of the Jeep is yeah. unmatched by other vehicles. I mean, who would have thunk it? But here you go. Here's a nice little brush unit for a, for a fire department somewhere. There's a wildfire, you just climb to the top of it, you snuff it out, you go home and have a beer. That's fighting fires in style. Exactly. Oh, this looks well used. CJ7? Yes. It looks well used. El Jefe. Nice. British That's Special British. Forces. British Special Forces, um, Northern Africa. Uh, the guys who went up against Rommel and the like. And uh, they, they, they fit it to fit their needs. Extra jerry cans because um, there's really no petrol stations in the middle of Northern Africa in 1940, whatever. Um, machine guns mounted in the passenger seat. Uh, you know, you, everything they needed, they carried on these vehicles. They were true workhorses, they were mules, but they got them where they needed to okay, go. Tell me why they cut this out. For cooling. They cut out the grill just for that little extra bit of cooling that they could get. It's, it seems so sad though. To cut, to cut its face. No, it's fine. <laughs> you know, and I say cooling, it could have been for something totally different, but just off the top of my head, I'm thinking, oh, well, they just cut that out to get as much air into the radiator as they could. Yeah. The, there again, these headlights, you have to work on the vehicle, you put the hood up, not with four or five gallon jerry cans on the top, but, and these headlights, they come up, they, they, they clevis, and they go in. So if you have to work on the engine at night, you just turn the headlights on, turn them oh. inward. And oh, the cat's cool. eyes, the cat's eyes when you're in a, a convoy formation and it's dark oh, it and you want, you want the, the, the enemy not to see your headlights coming, you turn the cat's eyes on and they're just bright enough that the vehicle in front can, or behind, behind can, can see. see. And they, there's a certain way that they line up to tell whether or not you're too close or too far away. Yeah, they're really ingenious. Everybody that builds a World War II military jeep, when they put the star on the hood, they put the ring around. They're called invasion markings. Um, from the air, the aircraft could look down and see the, the circle around the star and know not to bomb that vehicle. Just like with the airplanes, they painted white and black stripes on them. So when you see invasion markings on a jeep, what you're actually seeing is a representation of something that would have happened, say, June 1944, 40, you know, you're talking D-Day. And invasion markings is, is when these were used. So. And I found Waldo.
right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for day two. We'll bug out and see you later.